Hello and welcome to United Penguin Kingdom, a brand new city builder out with penguins. Obviously, as the name implies, massive thanks to the dev slash publishers for providing a key so I can take a look at the game. That's much appreciated. We haven't got to the title screen yet, but it's popped up a little bit of pre-game lore, so I thought I'd jump in here. So king penguins are in danger due to climate change, especially after the increased temperatures. Penguins started to take precautions such as using indoor and outdoor coolers. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? With the help of sustainable energy resources, penguins create a safe environment by reducing the temperature for themselves. They also use herbs and medicine when they get sick. Unlike humans, penguins never fight with each other and live in great unity and solidarity and always help each other. What a great world. They cheer up with the help of entertainment venues, increase education in schools and libraries and never forget spirituality. All penguin settlements follow the orders of the king. The settlement with the best reputation score becomes the king in the United Penguin Kingdom. Penguins build defense towers against killer whales and thief seals. Killer whales attack waterside buildings and try to destroy them. Seals come to food storages to steal food, the pesky seals. Are you ready to start your penguin kingdom? Look at this little guy over here. He's loving life. He's just absolutely loving life. All right, let's hit OK. Da 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 da. So here we are, United Penguin Kingdom. We're gonna, uh, if we skip the tutorial, if it doesn't have it at the beginning of the game, I'm inclined to just say new game and let's just go for it, right? Uh, the game is doing something a bit weird with my uh, my sort of display settings, where I normally have, I've got two monitors, and I normally have on the other monitor the recording software, so I can make sure everything's going okay, because that makes sense. For some reason, when I alt-tab out of this game, it removes that window I'm looking at and puts it on the main screen behind the game. So I've tested and I've tested, and I'm pretty sure it's recording okay. <laughs> but... There is a chance that after I click new game, we're going to cut to another video because the recording didn't work. But we'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's okay. I Like I say, I've done a few test little things and it seems like it's all right. So, oh, I just say play to... No, we're just going to start a new game, right? We're just going to start a new game. Normal difficulty. E we speak a number of penguins, resources, total gold. Penguins use gold. Production speed, thief seals and killer whales. That's fine. We have a few maps to go for. Ooh, lots of different maps. Um, I guess we'll go with the first one, unless anything, oh, I don't know, I don't know. They don't look like they increase in difficulty necessarily. I, I'm going to go with map 5, I think. We'll go with map 5 and see what, we'll see what happens. So we need a, a profile, we need a picture for our penguin flag or shield. Uh, quite like this little engineering dude, that makes sense. Not sure I want one that suggests all our penguins are going to immediately die. Um, there's a pharaoh one, which is cool. I'm going with the little engineering dude. What sort of shield do we want? One with an orange background, obviously. So yeah, let's go with that one. And we'll call it... Penguin Colony. Alright, let's go. Here are our little penguins. We've got some little baby penguins as well. Adorable. This is a great area to start a new settlement. First, you should place the initial buildings. These buildings can be placed in any order you prefer. So click in the middle button to scroll around. Our penguins look great. Where's the baby penguins? Let's have a look at the baby penguins. Oh, so cute. So cute. So the game looks great. I'm loving the uh, the surface texture on the ice. That looks good. The penguins look fantastic. I quite like the uh, the background scene as well. That looks very nice. Very desolate, as you'd expect. So yeah, this is our, our map. Quite like how sort of symmetrical it is. So we need a builder's hut, a warehouse, small food storage, a pharmacy, and a treasury. Well, a builder's hut makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. It does have a direction of... in into and out of the building so i assume we will be placing down some sort of road at some point now we don't want to put them on the edge of the water to start with i'm guessing because we don't want to uh potentially have any pesky things coming in and rotate our r is rotate so we'll put the builder's hut let's put it sort of in the middle actually let's put it there and a warehouse is huge we'll put that opposite the builder's hut because that makes sense to me Small food storage, we'll put a bit closer to the bridge zone area. 
Pharmacy will keep central again, so we'll put that one... We'll look how we're facing this way. I'm trying to leave space in between in case in case we do get past, which I'm assuming we do. And then a treasury to go here. So an unusual start for a base builder. It's like you have to place these buildings before you do anything else. But there we go. You're ready to start your penguin settlement. Good luck. Oh, and we're off. All right, so we can add roads. So let's do that straight away. Pop those down there. Nice. Good start. Good start. Buildings, science, exploration, statistics, and annual objectives. We'd have a task flashing down here. Naturally, penguins can get hungry too. Let's focus on food production. Trawling dock is a place to catch krill, fish, and squid with the help of nets. So we need a trawling dock, a wind turbine, and then we need to produce some krill. If the task is completed on time, 45 temporary reputation points will be awarded for 12 months. We can do that. Uh, so we've got all of those things. Well, we probably need some housing for our penguins at some point. We've got oh, a special kid's house just for child penguins. Do so they not live in the normal ones? I guess not. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. It wants us to do food first. And the rest of this week, get that one, I guess, unlocked with exploration. Those are science points. So obviously this has got a bit of a Timberborn sort of feel to it, you know. Future, well, I'm assuming this is slightly futuristic as the penguins have developed technology. <laughs> um, obviously based around animals, similar to Timberborn. Oh, actually has to go in the water. Ah, there we go. There it goes. We can't go there. It's that clip at the edge of the bridge there. So let's pop this one down. In fact, I'm going to put it on this side because it's slightly closer to the warehouse. I don't know whether the trawling dock uses the warehouse as well. So we'll pop that one down there. Building construction is halted. Place a builder's hut or assign new workers to one of the existing building huts. Do we have... Oh, the food storage is over there. Oh, okay. No, no matter. <laughs> warehouse builder's hut. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's boop, 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 boop. get some builders going. Do we need to put workers in the treasury? No. We don't have to put workers there either. So let's pop a road down there. Do we want to carry one up there? I think we do, because that's where the actual food warehouse is. So that would make sense. We also need a wind turbine. We have a science hub, an ice spear tower, where a penguin can produce ice spears and then attack killer whales and seals that come within range. Penguins in defense towers never leave their workplace for their personal needs. Oh, so they don't eat or urinate oh that fits in perfectly up here nice we'll pop that one down there then i don't know if it has to be connected or it just has to be within range of something so it is within range of the uh the trawling dock so that's going to work nicely for us what else do we have down here nothing in this one no fun to be had and we've got no decorations yet so we probably need some housing pretty quickly don't we so we're going to need a kid's house, which does need electric, does it? Or is it just within range? Let's just pop back there a second. doesn't say that it needs electric, so I don't really want to put it... Oh, no, it does say it needs electric there, so why doesn't it say it down here? Functional if only in the interaction area of an energy generator or an active cooler. Well, there we go, it does tell you. Pay attention to what it's saying. So we'll pop that one down here. Where's our number of penguins? So we've got four children, so we can get five in there, so that works. And we've got nine adult penguins. So we are going to need three lodges to fit them all in. Can we fit three in down here? I'm not sure we can. We can get two there, and then we're a bit stuck, because then we're out of power. So we might have to put some more power in somewhere. So let's think about where we're going to put this first, I suppose. So if we put it in here, then we can bring a road down around the side. like that and then we should be able to get a uh not a science hub there we go a wind turbine in here do we want it there or should we put it up here actually i think we should put it in up here because then we've got like a new area we can put other things in as well that's going to need a road as well so we'll pop that in there so the only other thing we can really build is the science place, isn't it? The science hub. Oh, and the ice spear tower. We probably do need one of those. Like, over here. Because they need to protect the, um... So what are the squares around the outside? Is that where it's suggesting you can put roads? We're going to put that there. 
Oh, that needs power. So we can put it there. That still should have everything within range. And we'll need a road coming down for that. So we'll just pop that over there like that. And then the science hub, which also needs power. So how we can get that right there. Perfect. Lots of things for people to build. So get building little penguins. There's a lot going on on the, uh, the old Yui. Uh, mating is allowed because we have houses. That's our living space. That's the food we have. That's the medicine we have. We start off with a good amount of materials. I don't know how you get more like wood and stuff. Uh, we are 18% happiness. That's not great. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. We need to produce some krill. We haven't got any workers over here. Let's get those going. But I don't know if they're going to get going until... Not the ice tower. Although that, the windmill is going. Okay. So we've got two penguins in there. Have they built anything else we need to check? So that's the kid's house. Let's have a little look at the kid's house. Ah, little flags and little toys with the penguins on it. Nice. We should have, I was going to say, that's just been built, so you should all have <clears throat> houses now. We don't have any power for them yet. We have got some krill, so we've got 45 temporary reputation points, as well as these little bonuses here. Lovely. I didn't really actually pay attention to what it takes to build stuff. Stone and metal. Garbage and wood. Snow blocks for the warehouse. So we need this one to be built fairly quick. We've got our little builders over there doing good stuff. Oh. Where, where are you going? You're going over this way. That's it. Hammer away. Toil and work, little penguin. I'm pretty sure that's a penguin sound. That is a weird penguin sound. It seemed very loud. We've got some little thief seals around. I don't suppose that is covering our food storage, is it? No, it is not. No, it is not. Ideally, then, I probably would have put that over here, wouldn't I? So we could cover that at the same time. I wonder if we look to build a, another one of those. Small food storage. Could it fit over there? No, it couldn't. Okay, well, we might have to build another ice tower over there. Because this pesky seal, look at him. Oh, I'm thinking we might have to change this around a little bit. I don't know if we want to build another tower. If we build another house... There's nothing we can do about this pesky seal. He's just going to steal some food from us. There's nothing we can do about it. So if we build another house uh, here. And then I'm going to destroy this house. Sorry to everyone who was in there. How do we destroy this road? Can we just place stuff? Oh, we've got a new task, but I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Oh, we can just... Oh, it does actually fit in there perfectly. Look, ideal. So we'll pop that one in there, which means that it's then staffed by this tower. We'll pop some penguins in there. Or a penguin in there. And we will just... Oh, okay. So once we've got another one and it's set as primary, then we can dismantle that one. Ideal. We've got a little science hub here. Just tell us how many of our penguins are employed. Not necessarily. I guess it'll tell us if we have not enough workers, right? We have inadequate uh, living space, but that is on its way. We're almost there with that. There it is. Yeah, I see you, you pesky seal. Stealing my food, are you? Stealing my food? Yeah, you better run. You better run. I love this dude up here just building the spears. Look, he looks great. He looks great. So as soon as this is built and it is uh, getting there, we've got all the materials. Just need someone to come and hammer away. What's our next task? Uh, somewhere to live. So we've already built the kids' house and the lodges. We need to produce some krill. So that's easy enough. We have two workers in there who are doing good stuff. Lane and Legacy. Only only 15-16% productivity. Not sure why that's so low, but I'm sure that will uh, come up at some point. So we need to set this. Oh, it's not finished yet. Get building. We don't have a day-night cycle by the look of it. We do have a defense menu. And obviously we have these other areas we'll have to move over to quite soon because we're already running out of space in this original little tile. Maybe I should have put all the houses over here or something. Oh, there's just constant seals coming, isn't there? They are absolutely non-stop. Come on, let's get this built. Oh, one thing that's occurred to me is because I can't see my recording software, I don't actually know how long I've been recording. <laughs> so that's going to be primary. And then this one we are going to destroy. 
We do get 100% refund of the materials. Nice. So now our storage and our trawling dock are all protect protected by the ice ice spear tower. Awesome. So, I just need to produce some krill. Why don't you produce some more krill? Go faster. Uh, no housing. Oh, all of our children just grew up. All of our children just grew up. So we need some more housing. And we don't really have anywhere within range of a thing. So we'll put this one down here. And then we'll put a road coming behind it. And then we'll put down another um, another wind turbine. We're doing okay for materials. So we pop this one like here. That's going to cover pretty much the entire... Oh, we've got the krills. We've got another reward. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to put that one down there. And that covers basically all of our, our land then. We are actually going to need another house though, aren't we? Because we've got four now. So it's only going to house... 12 of our penguins. We are going to need another lodge. Which we're going to pop down uh, here. Yeah, we're going to pop that one down there. Okay. Well, there's the professions menu. That's sort of what I was looking for. So we can just see everything here and assign and unassign from there. That is nice. We do have some idle penguins. Um, we are making some science now, are we? Where's, where do we know of how much science we've got? Just there, so it tells us we've got 10 there. I guess it doesn't tell us anywhere on the uh, the GUI. We do have inadequate living space. We're working on it, there we go. We no longer have inadequate living space. We've even got a couple of spaces. We just need, oh no, turn the mate in. I didn't know that was just gonna immediately turn it off. Oh, here's our first attack on a pesky seal thief. Nice. Nice. I mean, only just took him out. I don't know if we need another tower, because we can't add any other workers here. But he only just got that before it arrived. Here's our next task. Build a science hub and produce science points. Well, we already have that, so uh, we'll just wait for that to tick over. There it is. We have completed our science. We get more temporary reputation points. Lovely. I did speed the game up, but we're going to slow it down. There's another seal on the way, but he's only got 100 health, this one, so the tower should be able to deal with that quite nicely. I realise down here it tells us how much science we have as well. I couldn't see it before. But we do have science here. And if we click on this, all sorts of things we can make. A snow block maker, so we can actually start making our resources. That could be nice. That needs energy or an active cooler. You have a herbs collector to help with sick penguins. We have a carousel. Which will obviously help make our penguins happier. Um, I don't know if that means... A revolving machine with model leopard seals for the chi children penguin to ride. Well, it only applies to our children penguin then, so... Don't know if that is useful. Newcomer ramp is an entrance for new penguins to join you. Oh, that could be very useful. Although we don't really need more penguins at the moment. And a basic cooler that creates extra ice for an area. It needs to be within an area of an energy generator, but it does give happiness as well. How many ice blocks do we have? We've got oodles and caboodles. I think I'm going to go with the cooler then. Oh, I don't have enough science points yet. We need one more. Okay. One more science point, please. One more science point is there. Perfect. Let's get the basic cooler. Da da! Not what I wanted. Wanted to click down here. So somewhere in here, energy and coolers, we now have our basic cooler. Nice. Creates extra ice for an area. Penguins do not lose their health. There's an, another seal coming in. I can see him sneaking in. And he goes one happiness to houses around. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, so that actually has to be quite... Like, that isn't close enough to that house. You have to have it right next to them. Oh, we might have to do a bit of uh, jiggery-pokery then. Maybe we'll do that. So maybe over here, we'll think about how we're going to do this. Oh, I can't build roads here? Why can't I build roads here? I can see there's a new task. You shall have to wait. Can I not build on these islands yet? I 
guess not. Okay. All right, so the cooler's not much use to us at the moment, then. I'm not going to worry about utilizing that too much. Because, uh, yeah, we'd only really get, like, one or two of them really affected. What's this task, then? Unlock the snow block maker. Right, so it actually wants us to make snow blocks. All right, fine. We'll have to wait for some more science for that. We haven't got that at the moment. Another seal coming in. I don't know why I can't use... Ah, we have to purchase the islands. Does it cost... Is that how much gold we have? Where's our gold? I can't see gold. Where's gold? Am I entirely blind? How much... Oh, there it is. We do have 686 gold. I think all the islands are the same, aren't they? So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll set up like a little a housing island and use this as like our production sort of island. So let's... Oh, that one costs 650. Hold up a second. That's 650. That's 2,500. That's 450. That's just 100. Let's get that one. Yes, please. We still don't need to build over there, but we can now build here. So let's come... Where's the middle? That would be nice to know. It's about there, I think. So if we come to about there to start with. So we want our basic cooler, which also needs energy, and the houses are going to need energy as well. Um, oh, didn't mean to click that. So if we put a basic cooler down, like, here, in the, that, the middle, that looks pretty middle-ish, doesn't it? Let's pop that down there, cause just extend the road up to there, because we're definitely going to need that. And I think what we'll do is we'll put... If we put roads all around it. And then I might even just pause the game a second. So I don't want anyone really to come build in this quite yet. And then we want one there. I don't know what the range is of this. Ideally we'd want like that, wouldn't we? So let's try that, and then we're also going to need uh, power over here. So we might need a couple of power generators. How many houses do we need? We've got one, two, we've got five at the moment. So we are going to need another one anyway. So if we pop that there, that gives us room to put a couple more in down here as well. Which means maybe these should have gone down here a bit more. Hold on. Oop, keep pressing that. And that's the wrong one as well. We want wind turbines. See, I think we actually want them... Put them, like, right in the middle, because it's already... Then we're never going to get that um, that middle one, are we? Oh, we have to go there to get that middle one. Or we could go there, which covers all of that stuff. And then another one there. And then we'll put one in the middle, like there. So it covers that building we need, but also gives us a bit of extra space on the sides. Sort of like that. And we've got a bit of space there for absolutely nothing. Maybe some decorations or something. Okay, yeah, that's good. And that'll give us this cooling happiness bonus. Then we can get rid of these once all of those are built. Got rid of another pesky seal. Nice. We need eight science. Oh, we've got eight science. So let's make this snow block maker. Yes, please. Uh, so we can get it to make more snow. And we can also do an... Ocean Garbage Collector, which is another one of the resources we use, isn't it? So we are going to clear up a lot of space around here by getting rid of these. I don't know if I want to do this straight away. So 
So there's this one. It's quite large. We could just get rid of this now, couldn't we? Some penguins are going to be unhappy for a little while, but let's get this down and producing stuff. Let's tuck it up to that. Yeah, that's as close as it can get. Okay, let's go there. So we do have inadequate living space temporarily, but is this all? Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong island. That confused me greatly. So they've already built this, but obviously it's not going to be quite working yet. That's fine. I probably should have prioritized everything else. But hey ho. And then we'll make this. This is going to be like a little living island. And then this will be, like I say, our production island. And we could probably do with tidying some of this up at some point. Because I don't think I realized to start with, when you put something down, the red squares, or the squares around it, you can see there. That's like where roads can go, essentially. I sort of thought you needed to have that extra space around them for some reason. But you don't necessarily. You can overlap it with other stuff. Look. Right. How are we going? Stuff's happening up there. We've got the snow block. Oh, we're, we're working on building it. Okay. We have our snow block maker, which doesn't have any workers in. I just wanted to check this menu works as I suspected. Yes, it does. Perfect. That's awesome. Something else that I noticed pop up whilst we were doing this is there are not enough schools in the settlement because we do have a new penguin. Little baby Pamela. Hello, Pamela. So that's nice. We don't have access to schools yet. They come down here after the carousel. I'm, I'm hesitant to do the carousel. Uh, maybe herbs. How many herbs do we have? We've got lots of herbs at the moment. And we've got 15 medicine in stock. So I don't know if we need that. How many? We only have three idle penguins. Does it tell us? Does it tell us? Yeah, it has one worker. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. But I guess if it's complaining about actual schools, the schools must have a quite a nice benefit, right? Educates child penguins until they reach 50% education level. What does that mean? What does that do? What is the purpose of that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go with the carousel. Fine. Let's, uh, let's get down towards the school. That's our plan. So we still have a homeless penguin because we're waiting for this to be built. I've just realized there are no roads going up to it. Or to this one. So let's get that sorted. We may as well do that as well. Because I did mark this as a higher priority, but they're still building the lodges first. Maybe because there wasn't a road going there. But as soon as that gets done, we'll have enough space to uh, house all of our penguins. Because we have one homeless penguin at the moment who is going to be less than thrilled, I'm guessing. Uh, we just need to produce some snow blocks. And we've produced some snow blocks. We get all of these lovely bonuses. So we're getting lots of medicine and stuff for that anyway. See, we don't really need the herb um, herb producer. Unless it's the next mission that pops up, the next task. We killed another pesky seal. Lovely. Get rid of them. Who wants them, right? Yeah, see, that should be... That road should be closer to that. Lessons learnt. No lessons learnt. What was that? Oh, they're finishing the buildings up here on this. So we've got our cooler going. That one gets the cooler bonus. That one does not get the cooler bonus. It has to be closer than that. All right, hold on a second. So that's no good if it's not getting the cooler bonus, right? So let's get rid of that. And I think we have to get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this as well. Because obviously not doing what I want it to do. So, how do you get rid of... Can you just build... How do you get rid of roads? How do you get rid of roads? Can you get rid of roads? Have I made a terrible mistake? Or can you just build over them? How do I know if it's within range of a cooler? Oh... There, that's how you know. That's how close we have to be to get the cooler bonus. Okay. You can just build over the road, so at least we know that. So we could go there and there. That only gives us four. And then we could do the same on the other side. 
So it'd be like that. So I don't think we need this one anymore, so we can get rid of that. So we can get like six within range. I think they're going to be within range, or hopefully within range of that anyway. If not, we'll put another one behind it. Okay, unpause. So we still can't get rid of any of the uh, other houses quite yet. This area needs massively tidying up. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I know it's terrible. I apologize that it's terrible. If we get rid of this one, I might move this. I suppose it is a nicely covering the whole, the whole thing though, isn't it? Oh, it's all just a bit too, too distant. We can build a carousel now though. Our first bit of, um, can we? Fun. There we go. I guess it's going to be massive. Oh, it's not too bad. It does need energy. So we couldn't put it there because it's too close to the ice, but we could put it in here. Let's do that. So you are forced in some cases to leave a bit of space and you can put roads in. So it sort of forces you to leave space for roads. So maybe we couldn't get it a lot closer then. Our next one is to build an ice tower and provide four spears. Uh, the problem with that is we already have more spear capacity than we know what to do with. So I could just do that for the moment so we actually get some spears being produced otherwise we're in trouble so the game takes you that long to tell you to build the ice spear tower and if we hadn't built it this would just be uh hemorrhaging food because of those pesky seals right so we have oh another one almost done let's speed everything up let's get this built so they're still building these but we've had a new task come in and we also completed the Ice Spear one, obviously. The next one is to build the Newcomer Ramp. Ah, okay, it's good I've got that science saved up. Let's do that. We can do that easy enough. We can afford that as well. I'm saving up for the school, but if we need to do that, let's do that. A group of seals is approaching. Hold your horses. Oh, I can't click on it to see where they are. Where are these pesky seals? I can see one. Hmm... Hmm. hmm. It's just the one. Maybe they're approaching, but not... Oh, there we go. Yeah, our ice tower is... Oh, my word! I thought maybe it'd be like three or four. We've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve seals approaching and one tower that can just about kill a 150 health seal if they really try. Before they get here, let's have a quick look. We've got 31, 45, 132. 31, 45, 132. So we're going to see how much they take from us. Sort of feels like we need a tower on each corner, doesn't it? So we killed a couple of them. They're going straight for the squid as well, the big ticket items. I'm assuming it goes like krill, fish, squid in terms of how appropriately good for your penguins they are. So they're taking 10 squid from us. 10 squid from us. And if we had more up here, we'd still be able to take them out, but hey diddly ho. Anyway, that appears to be over. So let's build a newcomer ramp. Which we're going to want to have over... Oh, we can just fit it in there. I was going to say, we're going to want to have it next to the uh, the tower, and it does fit there nicely. That is awesome. Oh, there's another one. There's still more. Oh, no, they're going. There's another one coming, though. Away with you. Thank you very much. So we have too much space at the moment, so we could start looking at getting rid of some of these buildings. Let's get rid of this one. Just oh, I was going to get rid of this one first. It doesn't really matter. We do get 100% of the materials back, which I do like. I do like it. makes rejigging things after the fact a little bit nicer and easier, doesn't it? So we'll wait for this to get built. Have a look at what this looks like. And they're also building this. They're probably prioritizing these because they were put down first, I'm guessing. So let's tell them to prioritize these instead. And how much did the next? Because we've got 440 gold at the moment. It's 650 for the next one. So we've completed the newcomer's ramp. This looks very nice. I like that it's a newcomer's ramp, but it very much appears to have slides going out rather than coming in. But I'm assuming they like shoop and then bounce on this. That's cool. So we've got three months to wait until two more penguins arrive. How are we doing up here? 
Uh, we still have three empty slots. I don't really know what we should be prioritizing there. Maybe science. Should we get another science hut on the go? They only take one worker, don't they? Let's get another science hut on the go. I'll figure out where it is in a minute. Don't worry. Science hub. We can only have one of these? I guess we can only have one of those. Or do we want another ice spear tower? I don't know why they need uh, energy generation. Let's get another science hub on the go. Make this like our little science... We've got Addison... Adeline, sorry, was just born. Three baby penguins now. Nice. Uh, happiness, education, and gold just went down. Uh, sorry, reputation just went down. Oh, lots of stuff. I don't really want hints. I just wanted them to tell us why that happened. So we can see education. Oh, it just tells you that. Yeah, I wanted like graphs. I wanted like statistics to tell me why it went down. What makes our penguins happy? What makes them unhappy? Education's quite poor. Was it because a new penguin was just born, perhaps? I mean, that looks bad, doesn't it? It's like you had four children and then you had none. It looks like there was just like a child murder spree ongoing. What's this? What was this? Seafood mix. Oh, because we had some to start with and they all smashed it in their little grubby faces. We haven't hit an annual report yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So we're making another one of these. These are on the go. We can get rid of another one of our houses down here. Our lodges. Sorry. Because we're going to have, what, six? One, two, three, three. Yeah, we're going to have six. And we've got 16 coming. And that'll be 18 spaces, so that's fine. And these are within range of the power generator. Only just. Only just. But they're within range of it. And we get that lovely, cooler happiness bonus. That does seem like the optimal amount of um, houses you could get around it. I can't see how you get any more. There. We have a new task. We now need the herb collector. Okay, good. We can do that. Ta-da! Uh, herb collector is going to be under resources, I'm guessing. Nope. It's going to be under medicine. Food and medicine. There it is. Uh, this needs power. Where can we fit this? Oh, it needs to be in the water. So it can go there, but it doesn't have power. In fact, I don't think it's going to get power. Maybe over here it might do. Yeah, just about, but it does. So we'll put it there. And that means I am going to want another defense tower over here. We haven't had any killer whales coming in yet, but they'll arrive. And when they do, we want to protect our buildings. Oh, I might even put it there to give that little extra coverage. Yeah, we'll pop it down there. We want to protect it from the killer whales, don't we? So that's all being built. How are we doing up here? Oh, we've got so much housing. Let's get rid of this one. So that's all the houses down here gone. We have 18 spaces up here in our little lovely housing colony up there. We'll have to build another cooling tower next at some point when we need to expand a bit. But for now, it's looking fantastic. Our little housing berg. I like it. I like it a lot. How long have we got here? 2.7 months. A little while to go. A little while. Oh, look at him fishing. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. Fair enough. So we could actually unlock the school. Doesn't need any workers. Let's unlock the school. So we're going to have oodles of science coming in soon. And it's one of the things that will improve our general penguin well-being. We can fit that one in over here. And it's got power, which is lovely. Not too far from the kids' house. That's the only thing. Does the kids' house get cooler happiness? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I didn't realise that. It's the kids' house. The kids' house is bigger. I might get rid of one of these then, because we don't currently need it. And we'll put a kids' house in instead. Let's get that happiness bonus for the kids, right? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. <laughs> Which means we no longer have enough space to house all of these when they grow up. So we will have to think about where we're going to put this next cooler. Um, we basically want to emulate this over this side, wouldn't we? If I start building something, can I say immediately stop building it? Can I pause construction? No, okay. 
So we won't worry about it quite yet. But yeah, we want to sort of emulate, like, mirror that over this side, essentially. All right, then. How are we going? Pesky Seal. He's not... Oh, now he's on his way. Now he's on his way. Was he just waiting for something to happen, was he? Let's speed everything up. Right, we have just received our annual support payment of 43 gold. The King of the United Penguin, Penguin Kingdom has sent 43 gold as your annual support payment. The gold amount was calculated by considering your reputation, which I think looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good right now. I don't know what, how it scales, but it's, you know, it's looking great. It's looking great. So we've completed the kids' house over here, although that is actually filling up quite rapidly. You might need to think about getting another one down. We also need to think about expanding this in some sort of direction. I feel like I should have built this at the end now, and then we could have had, or like built it right here, and then we could have extended it up there. Because this is only the real space we have where we could... Um, fit in another mirror copy of this but we'll make do we'll make do uh, the herb collector also finished which looks a little something like this looks really nice and we completed that task waiting for our next task to come in we have no more penguins available to us at the moment that is the only thing we're missing so i think up oh, oh here's our next task build a basic cooler and produce some herbs well that's a nice easy one we can do that because we've already got a cooler go us so we need to think now about expanding this area. So let's pop this one down here. And what we can do is we can just extend this road. Uh, there. Another phone call came in because I'm just oh so popular, you know. Uh, what are we doing? We want to, We don't want science. We've got lots of science now, though, which is nice. We want buildings. We want coolers. So we pop this one in here. There. So we can get it as close as possible. And then we want a road. Because oh, we didn't... The other one, we put the road further away from it, didn't we? So yeah, we didn't actually get stuff as close as it could. We have another group of seals approaching. Hey, Diddy Ho, what are you going to do? Um, do I want to get another kid's house down? I don't think I want to do that right now. But we could get... Oh, we can't fit that in there because it's too close to the edge. Okay. So where can this go? This could go here. No, it can't. Why can't it go there? Oh, because it's too close there. So it can go there. And we can put another one there. I'm not going to worry about building that quite yet. We'll wait till we get, like, the kids' house in. Uh, see if we need another kids' house. But at least that'll give us another three, which will give us space for these, because that's going to be 17 altogether. In fact, we don't need two more, but we've got it. Another group of seals coming. At least we have this tower here now, which is going to help whittle them down before they get down here. Luckily, I was going to say, luckily, it seems like the main group is coming from this direction. It didn't. So we've got um, 31 fish. I don't know if they're going to go for the... How are we even making dried fish? Who's making the dried fish? Where does that come from? I don't think we had any before, did we? But 3 and 31. So far, we've done pretty good at taking them out. Oh, yeah. So we've lost three dried fish. That's gone. So annoyingly, that dude stole something. And then we killed him afterwards. But you don't get it back. So it'd be really nice as a development feature if you kill something that's carrying your stolen food that you get it back after you kill it. We lost four fish as well. Ah, well, these things happen, you know. So we're producing the herbs to do this. This is on its way. Lovely stuff. No idea how long I've been recording for. It's a bit of a problem. Should pay more attention when I figured out I couldn't see my recording software. We'll go for a little bit longer. We'll go for a little bit longer. We've got so much science. What do we think we need next? What does the village hall do? Used to request food, medicine, and gold from the king. No, I'm not bothered about that. A food stand serves food. Oh, serves food and gives them happiness as they do it. Okay, that could be quite useful. Yeah, I kind of want to make our way down towards um, like the fish down there. I think that would be nice. But I suppose probably the, the garbage collection. Because that's an actual resource we use. That could be quite useful. 
temple, I'm guessing, is for happiness. Yeah, two happiness per visit, which is nice. Um... Oh, I don't know. Does this just make the snow block maker better? Yes, it does. Hmm. And there's also the vase, which I'm guessing gives happiness. It's house happiness again, which is going to annoy me, because I just spent all the time getting this sorted. If there's only one tile, we might be able to squeeze it in there. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's get the vase. So I do want to get happiness up. Happiness, happiness, happiness. It's all about the happiness. Right, hold on. Pause a second. Where is this? Where's the vase? Oh, decorations. Didn't even click on it. Can we squeeze that in there? No, it doesn't want to go in there. I think because it occludes the um, the entrance way, so it won't fit there. And it takes twenty stone. We have we got a fair bit of stone. If we put that one there, that's going to get four of the houses that are around. So that could be quite useful. So it could even go... Can't go there. We can go there. Still get all four of them, I think. Let's put it there opposite that road. And then if we put another one there, at least that's two more of them. And then again, it's mirrored then. So at least we know where we are with that. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. A little bit more happiness. We've still got 28 science points. We've completed our task to build the basic cooler that we built ages ago. Lovely stuff. Um, what do we want next? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the temple? Let's get a temple. Let's do it. Why not, right? We don't have any empty jobs, do we? No. We do have five penguins now, though. Um, how... What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. And it's eight months until Pamela grows up, so I'm thinking we are going to need to build another kid's house. So where would this go? It would go like here, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's pop that there. Bring that there. We've got another group of seals approaching. Oh, well, what can you do, eh? What can you do? So we unlocked the temple, didn't we? Is that community? Yes. Needs power, but it'll fit in over here. Lovely stuff. Let's pop that one down there. Education is now rising because our wee baby penguins are getting trained up to 50%. I'm getting some gold because I'm murdering some of these seals. Do we only have 300 gold? We do. How much do the buildings really cost to... Do they take gold? Oh, it takes 24 gold and stuff, yeah. It's going to be quite a while till we get the uh, 650, isn't it? Does that mean we're out of fish now? Almost. Down to 14 fish. And now that we're down to basically just krill as a food source, that's going to impact, I'm guessing, the happiness of our penguins. Uh, carousel, we're already doing that. Just needs more snow blocks, which we already have in progress, so that's fine. This has got 0 0.8 months until we start getting anything from that. We've got plenty of food. Yeah, just to speed everything up. We have our next task come in, which is to build a school and produce snow blocks. We are just ahead of the game here, aren't we? We've built a vase, so these will be a little happier now. Decoration points, cooler, lovely. A few of those people are going to be a little bit happier, which is nice. They're just building the children's lodge over there. We've got the temple on the go here still. What will be next over here, do we think? I mean, probably... Oh, we don't have any penguins, though. That's the problem. Probably could lose one of the science people. We could go straight for the ice rink. I'm assuming it gives brings two happiness for each visit. Let's do the ice rink, right? Mainly because I don't think it's going to need anyone to work there. It does need power. We could fit it up here quite nicely. Oh, hold on. We have our first killer whale. 
We need to prioritize. This is the kids' lodge, isn't it? Yeah, we need to prioritize that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hammering away at our herb collector. In fact, it's going to destroy it. Definitely need more than one of those to take on a killer whale. And once something's destroyed, that's it. You just have to remember what was there. So again, devs, if you do watch this, I would like to see something a little bit more helpful there. Like, tell us what was there. Give us the opportunity to rebuild it rather than destroying it straight out. So let's pop that one back down there. So we were... Temporarily, we were out of space for our children. But we've got another one of those now. We're up to 15. Have we lost a penguin? Probably not up to 16. Killer whale is leaving, but we'll be back soon. It does tell you down here what it destroyed, but yeah, it would be nice. We've got another task to build a food stand. That's one of the first ones we haven't had for a while. We've got lots of science, so let's get a food stand on the go. Under food and medicine, that's already on it. There we go. Can we fit it in? No, I'll destroy the path if we put it there. We don't really want to do that, do we? Now, we could fit it in behind here without destroying the path, though. So let's pop it in there. <laughs> Lovely stuff. This one doesn't have a worker. Or to assign in workers. I mean, it might be that some of this stuff is in the options. Mouse cursor type, mouse size. No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. So let's come out of that. Let stuff tick over. We have completed the food stand build. So we've just assigned a worker over there for that. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'll go back in there. Go back in there. I want to see you working. Don't go get food. Come back here. Unless you're actually bringing in food to do the food stand stuff, I suppose. Which would make sense. He is fantastic. I do want to see somebody use it. He's just stood there doing nothing. Come on, come to the food stand. Oh, the killer whale's back. He's attacking our food income. He's just, just absolutely hammering it. He's only got 150 health, though. I think we'll take him out before it's gone. Yeah, we protected against the killer whale. Lovely stuff. And his body sinks into the depths. Let's set that as a high priority. And we've got our temple as well. I like that as well. I like that as well. It's going to make everyone a little bit happy. We've got our next task to do the ice rink and produce some snow blocks. It almost feels like, like these are a bit of, like of an afterthought. Stick these on at the end of the... Uh, the task, just so it takes a little bit longer and make sure you're actually just not deleting the buildings as you go, it feels like. So I think everything up here is built, isn't it? Yeah, we've got space for a few more penguins, which is lovely. Maybe some more vases wouldn't hurt. Should we just put some down? So what does it take to build? Yeah, it's just stone, isn't it? So we could put some down just like opposite where they are at the moment. Do they get extra happiness for if we put them there? I don't know. I suppose we could find out, couldn't we? Is it there or there? I think it's there, isn't it? No, it's there. So those aren't... Hold on. Those are in line with each other. Those are not... Hold on a second. Let's get this right. So that goes at the end of this path. And there are two squares of building above it. Oh no, because it would have to go there. It's because the, the power production is there. That's what's confusing me, isn't it? Hmm. So maybe we don't want it there. Maybe we want them... Like here instead? That's not going to get anything over there, is it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's pop it in here, because we're not going to fit anything else in there, I don't think, are we? So let's just pop it in there, and we'll just see what that does. See if that gives an extra happiness point for decorations. 
did we not start the ice rink building? I thought we started the ice rink building. Aren't we going to put it over here somewhere? I guess we didn't. Maybe we got distracted by something happening. So we got our other va- we got the ice rink built as well. When some penguins get on it. There he is. Look at them go! I like that some of them skate around on, on skates and some just go around on their belly. Uh, so we got the other vase built up here. We got another task as well to unlock the transfer center. Oh, that's where you can request extra penguins. Okay, that could actually be useful. Um, so yes, we've got another vase down here. And if we look over at this one, two decoration happiness points. Two decoration happiness points. Does that also mean you can have multiple cooler happiness? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It does mean we can go... I was thinking, like, should we go crazy with vases or should we not? Because we only have uh, 80 stone. But when you destroy stuff, you get all the resources back, right? So why not go crazy with vases is what I'm thinking. So we could do one there, one there, one there. Just mirror all that out. Happiness all round for everyone, please and thank you. Gets us down to... Uh, our stone should go down quite a lot more than that. I don't think it actually um, takes it straight away. Obviously, we have to wait. Oh, we never got more food going. <laughs> so I realised where those... We had 13 penguins, didn't we? We had 13 penguins and it went up. It went up because they arrived over here. This reset. So we had two penguins arrive over here and I missed it. I was really hoping to see that. Uh, transfer centre is one of the end tier ones before we get into the city. But to get to the city... We need to unlock the next... Oh, that's province. King? City. Oh, 450. All right, so 450 is the next one. I looked at the wrong one before. We do only have 200 gold, though, so I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. So let's unlock the transfer center. Let's build a transfer center. Not necessarily because we need one, but because we have to. Uh, it doesn't need water, which I thought. Are they going to arrive by balloon? It also doesn't need power, so I'm going to stick this one right down here in the corner. Away from all of... Oh, can we fit it over here? Oh, it does fit over here, actually. I'm changing my mind. I'm putting it over here. So I think it is within power range, but uh, it just fits nicely in that gap. So that'll do. That'll do. So do vases make anything else happy? Just to houses. So you don't get happy when you're at work. Tough. So we've got this one over here, Bill. It's just this one to go then. Uh, we could probably fit... Oh, we, we do have more stone. Can we get one in there? We're not allowed to put one in there. Or there. We could put one like there. Hmm. Maybe we'll leave it for the minute. We could put another one there, which does get another four houses. Yeah, let's put another one there. Let's just get happiness through the roof, right? More happiness than you can shake a fish at. But, I mean, I think we must have been going for more than an hour now. So I think it's about time we wrapped this video up. Here's our lovely little penguin kingdom, which I think looks fantastic. So that is United Penguin Kingdom. It is out now. It's a full release. It's not early access. It was out a couple of days ago. Go and check it out on Steam if you think you'd like it. Links in the description down below. I think there was also a bit of a launch day sale going on as well. Really enjoyed it. There's a few little niggly things I'd like to see improved. Nothing too major, just the seals dropping food if they're cooler. Maybe it did that and I just didn't see it happen, but I didn't. Pretty sure it didn't happen. So I'd like to see that. If a building's destroyed, just let me rebuild it in place. It's just a quality of life feature that'd be really, really useful. A couple of little bits, but apart from that, really enjoyed it. Would love to see how it goes when you get a bit further into it as well. And how you might prioritise the different productions on your islands and stuff. I think that could be really interesting. And also, of course, we could start building, like, defense towers over here to try and get stuff before it even gets to our main island. Yeah, yeah. What is the next set of defenses out of interest? Uh, trawling dock gets better. High range cooler, stone lamp. We just get extra spears. And then we get an ice cannon tower. But that's all the way down there, and that's 350 science. I'm guessing we get a better science producer before then. There's the exploration thing. To reach other settlements and new lands. Anyway, yeah, so there is loads to go that we haven't seen. Loads to go that we haven't seen yet. 
But I really enjoyed what I played. Hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays at 7.30pm UK time. Be wonderful to see you there. If I don't, I'll see you perhaps back in United Penguin Kingdom or in some other magical adventure. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.